हेलो व्यूवर्स अस्सलाम वालेकुम वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल डॉक्टर आबिद सरगानी एज यू नो दैट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द पोल्ट्री सेक्शन इन कंटिन्यूएशन टू अवर प्रीवियस लेक्चर टुडे अवर लेक्चर इज लेक्चर नंबर सेवन ऑन पोल्ट्री सेक्शन दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज मैनेजमेंट ऑफ द इनक्यूबेटर्स ड्यूरिंग इनक्यूबेशन वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्क्राइब in our previous lectures that what is incubation and what are the types of incubators and essential requirements in this lecture we are going to discuss about the management of the incubators in which very first is leveling of the incubator it is done by split level if leveling leveling is not proper then temperature of the incubator will not be maintained and it will be disturbed to affect the hatchability second is the sanitation and fumigation of the incubators as well as the eggs first of all sweep the compartment of the incubator and brush out all the fluff and debris material from the incubator and then clean the incubator room and spray the floor with any kind of disinfectant and second scrub the egg trays carrier rack and water trays with disinfectant available in our in our markets and then replace the trays and racks in their appropriate sites in an incubator it is usually used or for the routine fumigation and the sanitation of incubators 40% formaldehyde is used in which 25 to 30 g of potassium per magnet added to the 50 cc of the formaldehyde is enough for the 100 cubic feet of incubator capacity to fumigate this area and third management factor is regulating the incubator you know what we have to run the incubator few days ago before the setting of eggs to ensure that all incubation parameters are maintained and incubator is working properly and temperature and humidity and other various factors should be noted it is recommended that 103 degree fahrenheit for at least 24 hours before the setting of eggs the incubator should be adjusted fourth one is placing the eggs or setting the eggs in an incubator incubators on on their either sides are placed in rows in flat type of incubators while in upright position in cabinet type of the machines we have already discussed about the upright position and horizontal positions in setter and hatcher etc in our previous lecture so fifth one is regulating the temperature it is recommended for the best results that in first week of incubation temperature should be 101 degree fahrenheit while in second week it should be 102 degree fahrenheit and 103 in third week give the satisfactory results of the hatchability of eggs sixth one is sufficient ventilation of the incubator we have already discussed the normal levels of the carbon dioxide and oxygen in our previous lecture you know what if the carbon dioxide is greater than 2% causes the de rapid decrease in hatchability while oxygen requirements increases up to 140 to 150 times as compared to to first day of the incubator to 21st day of the incubation period and seventh one is egg turning egg turning to get the best results keep eggs in upright position and start egg turning from third day of the incubation we have already discussed about the optimum turnings per day in which early stages four to six turnings daily at early incubation period are recommended and after a week eight turnings per day after equal interval of time in a day gives the best results of the hatchability and sees the egg turning at 18th day of incubation are in setter eggs are not to be turned eighth and most important managing condition that is egg testing egg testing is also important to check the fertility and the liveability of eggs in which egg candling is done egg candling is the process through which light is passed on 
through the eggs to check their liveability. It is done twice in an incubation period, first on 7th day and second one on 14th, 14th day of the incubation period. Ninth is care during the hatching. When hatching is in progress, then what management should be done? A good hatch is when the chicks come out of their shell before the 21st day. It is very much important point to be noted. And chicks remain in incubator for at least 18 to 24 hours without feed. You should not remove the eggs from the incubator till 24 hours. And then after drying off and fluffed out the chicks, the temperature should be reduced to anti-3 to 95 degree Fahrenheit for hardening of the chicks before transferring them to the brooder. It should be maintained in an incubator at lower temperature to train them that how to survive at lower temperature or to be maintained in an 